12 months as Germany has done without there being massive cultural and societal problems, which is what we've seen. And this is out of Gateway Pundit. Mother of 10-year-old boy raped by migrants says she regrets telling children migrants need our help. Now, this is a story that we covered yesterday. A Muslim migrant in Vienna, Austria, raped a 10-year-old boy. He didn't try to flee. He thought it was perfectly normal behavior. He went back to the swimming pool. They actually arrested him when he was in the swimming pool because he thought that this was just, again, routine behavior to go around raping 10-year-old boys because he thought it was justified because he was sexually frustrated. It turns out his mother is an immigrant, as is the child. And she initially taught her 10-year-old boy to be welcoming of these refugees. Well, now the boy's mother is speaking out. The mother of the boy who was raped by an Iraqi migrant in a swimming pool in Austria says she regrets teaching her children to be welcoming to migrants. The boy's mother, Dunja, who arrived in Austria as an immigrant in the 90s from Serbia, said she had always taught her five children to offer the same hospitality to new arrivals that she had herself received. So now she's spoken out and said, look, this is a massive problem, which is interesting because the migrants from Serbia tend to be less radical than those coming from places like Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria. So now she's speaking out against that after initially teaching her son to be welcoming of the migrants. And again, we're trying to get Tommy back on the line to talk about this. But here's another story out of Germany again. Refugees beat soccer players with iron rods in the street after tournament. Germany, a country of 80 million, received over 1 million migrants and unvetted refugees in 2015. Angela Merkel is expecting another million migrants this year. In five to seven years, the migrants will bring in their family members. And now Build reports, basically these soccer players, they just finished a tournament. They were chased by 20 thugs from a nearby migrant camp and beat with iron rods, basically complete melee. Um, and again, this is part of the cultural enrichment. You can go over to Canada. This is a story out of the rebel media. Liberals plan to build refugee camps on seven Canadian military bases. Taxpayers will fund mosques, Korans. So it's not good enough, as in Germany, to, you know, evict Germans from their own homes to bring these Muslim migrants in, to take over gymnasiums, to take over office buildings in Berlin, to pay at taxpayer expense for 10 thousand migrants to stay in three and four star hotels in Berlin, 10,000 of them, while Berlin's 10,000 homeless population remains on the streets. They're talking about 600 million euros to pay for this. And now the Canadian military has been ordered by Justin Trudeau, who is a massive social justice warrior, of course, to draft plans to house more than 6,000 Muslim migrants on a long-term basis at military bases according to documents obtained exclusively by the rebel. This sounds almost too ridiculous to be true, but they've got the documents, they're here in the article. Included in the Department of National Defense budgets are hundreds of thousands of dollars set aside for religious support, including the purchase of Muslim Korans, prayer mats, and foot washing towels, all part of the diversity that Canada is importing at taxpayer expense. The plans also call for the construction of mosques or worship centers using taxpayer dollars. Now, this is interesting because Canada initially said they were only going to bring in women and children from Syria, so actual refugees and not these economic migrants that have been exploiting that and pouring into the West as a result. For a typical migrant family, it's going to be a $200,000 a year subsidy, not including Medicare or welfare. This is in Canada, $200,000 a year at taxpayer expense for each family. It's shocking that Canadian Armed Forces personnel will be ordered to abandon the coalition battle against ISIS and return to Canada to become waiters, chauffeurs and social workers for Muslim migrants. And the Canadian Forces bases will be turned into squalid, refugee camps so they're actually taking the military bases in canada and filling them with these migrants at taxpayer expense 
We'll be back after the break, trying to reconnect with Tommy Robinson and go to a couple of your calls. This is the Alex Jones Show Live, Infowars.com. Stay right there. Today, more than ever, it's imperative that you protect your digital privacy. EDEC Digital Forensics Signal Blocking Anti-Radiation Anti-Surveillance Faraday Bags shield the contents of your phones, tablets, and key fobs from 4G, Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, NFC, and more. Find us at edecdf.com slash radio or call us now at 805-222-4584. That's 805-222-4584. Radio listeners get 20% off your order. Water is the single most important thing your body needs, so you want to be sure it's the best for you and your family. Since 2005, thousands have depended on Berkey Purified Water. The Berkey Guy provides the lowest price filtration systems in every size. For incredibly delicious water now and in an emergency, get to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. 877-886-3653. Are you prepared to bug out? Infidel Body Armor and an Army Ranger have produced a high-speed DVD and book to show you how to drive in combat, patrol, and how to survive in combat. Skills you'll need when it hits the fan. Go to DrivenDVD.com. DrivenDVD.com. Advertising your business with GCN is simple, effective, and more affordable than you might think. Visit advertise.gcnlive.com for more info. Take your business to the next level. That's advertise.gcnlive.com. By now you know that wireless technology like cell phones do in fact pose dangers to the health and privacy of everyone. Blockit Pocket's wide range of products are unmatched in providing the protection you deserve. No scare tactics, just common sense. BlockitPocket.com offers quality American-made options to alleviate and eliminate these invisible dangers. Learn more at BlockitPocket.com or call 888-315-9618. BlockitPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Chronic inflammation is now known to block your ability to repair and compromises your immune system, making you more vulnerable to all diseases. Since poor diet, injuries, or stress are all contributing factors, many people suffer from inflammation. Your body's number one means of neutralizing inflammation and the pain that it may be causing is glutathione. Glutathione is the body's number one peptide to neutralize free radicals and thus stop inflammation. Hi, my name is Jason. I'm 44 years old. For 10 years, I had been suffering from chronic pain in my abdomen and groin that radiated down into my feet. After three weeks on One World Way, the pain in my feet reduced by 50% and the overall pain in my body reduced significantly significantly as well. I ran out of One World Way and the pain returned. I got another container and again, after three weeks, the pain reduced significantly throughout my body. I'd highly recommend One World Way to anyone dealing with chronic pain due to inflammation. Call 888-988-3325 or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. Paid for by Bonner & Partners, an independent research firm. Fed up after years spent fighting big government in Washington, D.C., a multimillionaire businessman has spent the last 30 years tracking an obscure threat to America. Today, he says it's about to reach a sudden and disturbing conclusion. If he's right, your way of life is about to change very suddenly. From where you shop, to the doctors you visit, to your retirement, and the family you want to protect. Now, he's made predictions like this before, and he was right then, too. A few years ago, he warned that housing prices would collapse. They did. Before that, he warned that dot-com companies would crash. They did. Those who listened had a chance to save themselves. But this has nothing to do with the stock market. This will affect us all. A free video he's released online details everything you need to know at dollardownfall.com. Now, maybe you'll disagree with his conclusions. But first, you need to watch this video and see the facts for yourself. Just go to dollardownfall.com. That's dollardownfall.com. Tommy Robinson back on the line. Tommy, just before we lost you, I was asking you about this uh, clip that Channel 4 posted of this guy who was actually attacked in his own home by these migrants, but again, still defends them. We've got feminists in Cologne handing out roses. We've got rape victims keeping quiet about their ordeal so as not to make the migrants look bad. And we've got this entire industry, which is based around, you know, censoring criticism 
of what is the most intolerant belief system on the planet. Why have so-called liberals abandoned liberal principles by defending the intolerance of Islam? Because it's easy to do so. Um, it's easy. What's not easy is to do what we do. Uh, what's not easy is to criticise Islam and tell the truth about Islam because you get violently attacked, um, you lose your job, you lose your career, and currently the, the, the free speech market in the UK is governed by the far left. And they decide what is what is and what isn't allowed to be to be said. Um, I had an interesting day today. I spent a day with a, a German girl who is doing her masters, and she's travelled over to interview me. And she said she was brought up in a very left wing family, um, and she's doing a thesis on, on on Pegida. And she said that everything that Pegida is saying, she said she finds that her own mother, who was very left, she says now her own mother is saying it. But she still would never say she would never support support groups like Pegida because of the mainstream media perception of them. So not because of the views, because everything they're saying mirrors what her own mother. It mirrors exactly what she was saying. She said that they put a refugee centre asylum seeker at the end of her road, and they're now scared. She's scared. And this was someone that this was a complete left wing liberal who would have been wanting to bring refugees in, similar to the lady that taught her son who was ten years old who's just been. Um, anally raped in a swimming pool changing room. Um, his mum also was a, was welcoming to refugees. And I don't really know what it's going to take. We've seen the, the, the things that we've seen already in Europe. You'd think the whole of Europe would be exploding and taken to the streets with the devastation that they're seeing happening. And it's like an invading army is coming into your country and raping your women. And the men are just standing there. And that, 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 that's, that's most certainly how it looks within within Sweden, especially. But um, I don't see these problems getting any better. We, if we look to France, where we've, we've just seen at the weekend the retired army general um, who has been arrested there, he's been arrested for attending an anti-Islam rally. So there was going to be a rally for Pegida in Calais. Now, this is France, and, and this is the, 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 the thing that we say, the more Islam, the less freedom. In France, they're still under a state of emergency from the Paris attacks. This is the country that gave the Statue of Liberty to America. This is the country that prides itself on liberty and freedom. And here they are, banning, banning their own citizens from having democratic assemb free assemblies, banning them. They're not allowed to come out on the street. They're not allowed to protest. So that's how, how, how far France has already gone. They've lost their democratic rights. They've lost their freedom of assembly. And that's just a sign of the future times, where the government will force you. Even if you want to have a say, the government will take that say, that take your right to say anything away from you, as we've just seen in France. And um, I don't know, I think that there's going to be a, a, an acceleration of developments this coming year across Europe. And um, it's, I don't think it's not going to be pretty. Well, I mean, we've had numerous major army chiefs and, you know, police experts over the past few months come out. And in France, indeed, they've got the army, this came out in the Telegraph, preparing for the reappropriation of national territory because they think these ghetto Muslim communities, you know, France is about, what, 7% Muslim now, are going to rise up, are going to be radicalized and armed, and they're going to violently try to take territory in these major cities in France. We saw it with the the Paris riots back in 2005. But, and again, this, the, the, the sheer hypocrisy of it, and it is a kind of Stockholm syndrome. It's like, if they, if they align with their abusers, it's kind of easier to swallow. They don't have to face up to the problem. So it's kind of a mass Stockholm syndrome that we see going on with the left. Um, and they also share this grievance culture with Islamists, which I think is why they, they identify with Islamists so much, these extreme leftists. Because they hate the West, just like the Islamists, they hate, the West, they hate yeah. the West. And they they're, you know, they're just like Islamists, they they're racist generally against white people. So they actually share these regressive uh, anti-Western beliefs, which is why they're aligning, correct? Um, yeah, they're aligning. They, they, they see it as the best option to overthrow rule of law and democracy. They see it as the best option. But, but, let's, not, but let's not kid ourselves, they despise religion as well. So it, it's like a loose alliance, a very loose alliance. Um, where they, they're both using each other. They're both using each other, but the left should learn from what happened in Lebanon. The, the first people that will be turned up will be them, but, but from the Muslims, where, if they're ever successful. But I think that we should just learn from history that what you just said about the, put them pocket in their own community and wishing to separate their own community, that is exactly what's going to happen. We know it's going to happen.
Um, okay, we'll be back after the break with Tommy Robinson going to a couple of your calls as well. This is the Alex Jones Show live, Infowars.com. We're on the march. 